Hi, welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm Jared. This is Michael. Uh, hey. Today we're gonna be uh, we've got another assortment of peppers. We're gonna be going from what we think is the uh, uh, mildest to the hottest. We have six peppers today, and uh, we are going to start with goat's weed. Uh, I have a theory that any pepper name could also just be a strain of marijuana. And this is a strain of marijuana that goats like, apparently. Yeah. Cool. Seedy. Very yep. seedy. Seedy. Um, mm. Bitter. Yep. Very uh, savory flavor to that one. There's some heat. Like a one. Oh. <coughs> I don't like it. No, it's got kind of a dirty taste. Nope. Let's move on. Okay. This one looks really cool. It's uh, white and very round. This is the Bequino Ericana. Bequino Ericana. And, uh, and it's almost like translucent looking. So if you want to take a chunk of that. Okay. Yeah, it looks kind of like one of those uh, heirloom tomatoes, like the really, but a really little one. It smells Smell? like a tomato, too. Yeah. It's a little floral smelling. Hmm. Bell pepper. Bell pepper, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, no heat. Nope. It's good kind bell. of um, refreshing. It's got yeah. like a nice crunch to it. It's a good palate cleanser. I would use that anywhere I'd use a bell pepper. Hmm. Yeah, that's perfectly fine and serviceable as a bland pepper. We uh, don't really know how it's pronounced. Biberier. Biberier. I don't know. Biberier. No. What does it smell like? I don't get any smell. I get like a bit of smell from it. It's got a lot of seeds again. Oh. Huh. Surprisingly fruity though. That's yeah, alright. We got a bit of sweetness to it. Tastes like a... Like a Macintosh apple. Yeah. We should have eat apple. One or two others that have got a real apple flavor to them. I've been noticing more green apple kind of taste. Yeah. This one has like a like a sweet red apple taste. No heat. Fruity. Nope. No heat. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one. Yeah. This is the peach fantasy, and now we're getting into ones that I think are going to be pretty hot. Uh, we've had a few things with peach in the name. Not sure if that's an indicator of anything, but if something smells like peaches, that usually means you're in for heat. Peaches are apricots, yeah. Oh, that does smell, yeah. Yeah. Sweeter than I expected. It's that actually sweet. tastes like a peach. It's very sweet. That's a real surprise. Huh. <laughs> it does taste like peaches. Yeah. Not like how something is like akin to peaches or apricot. No, that, that, uh, we've had two in a row that have been very fruity. Yeah. Just the... Biberae. Biberae. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> that one um, hmm. tasted like apples. This one tastes like peach. They're more fruit than they are pepper. Um, this peach fantasy, I think, is um, one of my favorite ones that we've had because that is very unique. Yeah. It's not hot, but it's very unique. Like I would see like growing this for that flavor uh, just you wouldn't use it like how you would normally use a pepper, but you would use it for that flavor. That flavor is really tasty. This is Primo crossed with the lemon drop. Now, Primo uh, seven pot Primo is the one that was killing us a few episodes ago. It was like really, really hot. This is what, that's why I put this one second to last because I think this one's gonna be very hot because it has that hot pepper in it. It does smell like apricots. Not that strong though. So oh, this piece smells very strongly of apricot. Yeah, well that's the tip, so it might not be that hot, but I'm gonna go for a tiny little slice Sweet? No. Bitter? Not really hot. I'm getting some heat. 
I've been getting like a slow burn this entire episode, but that's because we ate a bunch of peppers today. This is the third episode we've shot today. Between episodes, all we do is eat peppers. It's true. We just like take all that's, that's left all over we do, and just. <laughs> I don't remember doing anything else but eating peppers. I think it's always just been peppers, right? I would say, like, on a level of 1 to 10, this does get a rating. It's not no heat. No. I mean, some heat. No, it's like a... It's like a, a low burn, like a smolder. It's like a 2. Or maybe like a 3 out of 10. But it's not, like, painful to eat it. I think if we were to eat the entire thing... Yeah, it'd probably burn the hell out of us, but... That would be a lot. Uh, um, the flavoring something, I'm not quite sure what. Maybe one of the spicier chili jams, you know? Something yeah. like that. Yeah, it definitely has that sweetness that could come through really nicely and something like that. If we were to blend up all of these peppers and make a jam out of it, that'd be pretty good. That sounds like a Jared project. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, okay, the final one, and this one I judged by appearance as being the hottest one. It's got, again, uh, we've talked about this before, but they have a real knobbly, kind of wrinkly look about them. That means it's a chinensis species. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it's a hot one. I can't taste the heat yet, but I know it's coming. Oh, yeah. Bitter. <sighs> it's very strong. It's also unpleasantly fleshy. Like, too, like, wet. I think that's because this one's a little bit old. That's got heat. That's got some serious heat. It's attacking my tongue. We got the flaming bees going on. Yeah, it's not actually all as bad as that, but I can feel it building, and I think it's going to get worse. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty strong. I'd say that's like a 9 out of 10. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop sending peppers. No. Stop sending peppers. I miss my wife. I think I judged that correctly. <sighs> in order of heat. Not to say I told you so, <clears throat> but yeah. That was the hottest one by far. And um, yeah, I think I'm done. All right. We'll see you next time. We'll be eating peppers until then. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.